Hi, I'm Tyler, and I'm 10 years old from the Tech Science team. Hi, I'm Archie, I'm 11 years old. Hi, I'm Olivia, I'm 11 years old. Hi, I'm James, and I'm 10 years old. We have built the TT, Toddler Tracker. So the idea of this device came, we had a friend called Jasmine, and she got lost in the food and wine festival and there was a big drama and they called the police but luckily they found her and we thought it would be a good idea to make a wearable tracking device for the hat for kids. It's, yep. it's based on the BB-8 head from Star Wars. Um, we have a battery pack and we have the GPS and then we have the Flora Arduino here. And then we have the antenna, and this will all be on the mum's bag, and that will be on the children's hat. And we 3D printed these thing, things, parts, to um, cover up the store. Sure. Sure. Okay. So here we have the, the hat that we're going to be using. This is just the prototype. Eventually we'll get it all done. So I used one of my old hats that didn't really fit me. Um, we made these panels, which then we put together using these small little pins around the outside to cover it. Then I did some pattern drawing and I tried to get the patterns all correct. So the off a picture from the internet. And yeah, I also made a little battery pack pocket at the back to hold everything in place. Well, that is connected to the GPS, which will then send signals to the RFF um, wire RF antenna. Uh, antenna, which then will be wi wirelessly um, ready, well, transmitted mm -hmm. through this to the flora and the GPS, and then they'll know exactly where it is from the coordinates of the GPS. So if the baby is or toddler. or toddler a bit far too far away, for example 20 minute, meters, then it will do a light and a buzzing sound which will alert the parents to try and find it or call the police. Doing the coding we had to use a lot of different things to start off with, but as you can see here we've connected all the wires up here and, and all is all connected to this little antenna which is sending signals to the computer and also sending signals to this and it's doing tests like test one, test two, test three. So what were the challenges you had? It was hard because we didn't like for example soldering because we had to solder um, an alligator clip to a Wire. wire and um, it was pretty hard with the soldering because we've never done it before and also we didn't we, we haven't written the code here because it's tricky we haven't like done anything like this before so it's the first time well some of the challenges we're trying to put the hat together of course but um, yeah. and also putting our little test subjects that we put together to get a brief idea of what this challenge will be, be will be like. So um, yeah, we had a couple of weeks just putting things, testing things, and some of them were really good. We had to use lots of little magnifying glasses and lots of time to decide what we were going to do. Yeah, we've been like doing this since how long now? <laughs> Three months. Um, it was also hard to get the three D printed bit for the top because. Sometimes the light that we wanted wouldn't shine through See. because it's black 3D printed and sometimes it was it didn't look good on the top and on the back bottom bit there. Mm -hmm. yeah. James, what about challenges you had on this? Um, choosing the design, like we were going for something like this. PB8. PB8. A lot of kids like PB8. Choosing the design is pretty hard. to be finished. First we have to make the hat, 
we need to do a lot of sewing, we need to sew this, design the backpack, put it on the backpack, test it, and then if it doesn't work, then we have to do the whole cycle again, so... Yeah, a lot of things to finish, and it's yeah. going to be a very We're still doing the prototype, we haven't finished that yet. So do you guys have fun? So yes. Far? Yes. yes! I love it. Yeah. We're yeah. still doing it. We're going to finish yes. this. <laughs> Alright, you look forward to winning number one? Yes!